So in this theorem, we are showing how we can find the area of a parallelogram and the volume of a box using the determinant. So the first part, if A is a 2 by 2 matrix, then the area of the parallelogram is defined by the absolute value of the determinant of matrix A. Case 2, if A is a 3 by 3 matrix, then the volume of a box or parallelopeptide is again defined by the determinant of matrix A. So let's go through now and verify case one holds true. So if A is a 2 by 2 matrix, then the area of the parallelogram is equal to the absolute value of the determinant. So here's our proof. We want to let A be a 2 by 2 matrix. I'm going to need to do this in two cases. So case one is our cutesy case. We want to suppose that A is the identity matrix in two dimensions. So we have the first elementary vector, E sub 1, which is 1, 0. And we have our second elementary vector, E sub 2, which is defined as the column vector 0, 1. And so we can see here that we are working with a unit square. We want to find the area of this. Right, so we know that the area of a square is your length times your width. So we have 1 times 1 is 1. We should say square units. And so we want to show that the determinant of A should also give us 1. So we have the determinant of the identity matrix in two dimensions is 1 times 1 is 1, minus 0 times 0 is 0, which is 1. So this case was nice and quick, easy to check. So we say that the area of our parallelogram is 1, which is the determinant of A. So now we need to think about the case where A is not an identity matrix. So in case 2, we want to suppose that A, the 2 by 2 matrix A is defined by A, B, C, D. So we want to start here by thinking about our geometric interpretation. So from the origin, we'll say here is our first column vector, representing the column vector A, C. So we can say here is A on the x sub 1 axis, and here is C on the x sub 2 axis. And then we have our second column vector, B, D. So again, here is B on the x sub 1 axis, or x axis, and here is D on our y axis. So using our parallelogram rule, we can see that this is the area of the parallelogram that we are trying to find here. So to make this a little bit easier on ourselves, we're going to think about just half of our parallelogram. We just want to think about the region I'm shading in red right now. And the reasoning behind doing this is that we can enclose this region in a square defined by a length of A and a height of D. So we can find, so we're going to go ahead and find half of the area of our parallelogram and double it later. So, looking at this, we have the full box, or excuse me, the full square has an area, again, defined by a length of A and a length of, or height of D. So, the area of our square is AD. And so, we can find the area of half of our parallelogram here by subtracting the area of these three right triangles that we've created. So, we have our first right triangle, we have our second right triangle, and our third right triangle. So let's find the area of the three right triangles. And again, we will then subtract the sum of the area of these three right triangles from the area of the square to attain the area of half of our parallelogram. 
So we have the area of our first triangle here. So we can see that it has, so actually we should recall that the area of a triangle is equal to one half the base times the height. So looking at our first triangle here, we can see that it has a base of D and a height of B. So the area of our first triangle is one half multiplied by D times B. So the area of our second triangle here, so in this case we have, so here is our base, and the base is going to be defined as D minus C. And then we have our height here. So our height is going to be defined as A minus B. So the area of our second right triangle is 1 half multiplied by D minus C multiplied by A minus B. And we can FOIL this out, which leaves us with 1 half multiplied by A times D minus BD minus AC plus, plus CB. Let's give ourselves a little bit more room. So the area of that second triangle go is 1 half AD minus BD minus AC plus CB. And last but not least, we have our third right triangle. Again, looking at our geometric interpretation here, we can see that it has a base of length A and a height of C. So the area of that third right triangle is 1 half AC. All right, so we have all of the pieces. We have the area of the square, and now we're going to subtract the sum of the area of the three right triangles. So again, we'll make a note to ourselves that the area of half of the parallelogram We'll define as A is equal to the area of the square minus the sum of the areas of those three right triangles. And so let's actually, we'll go back until we've written everything down. So we have that this area is going to be equal to the area of the square, which is A times D, minus one half B, D, plus one half multiplied by A, D, minus B, D, minus A, C, plus C, B, and then plus one half multiplied by A, C. All right, so here we go. So to make things a little bit easier on ourselves, let's factor out one half. So I have A, D, minus one half multiplied by db plus ad minus bd minus AD, ac plus cb plus ac. Whew. So we can cancel out some like terms here. We have db and minus db cancel each other out. We also have minus ac plus ac, which will cancel each other out. And this leaves us with ad minus one half multiplied by AD plus BC. And if we redistribute that one half back through, we have AD minus one half AD minus one half BC, which leaves us with an area of one half AD minus one half BC. But again, we want to keep in mind that this is just half of the area of the parallelogram that we're looking for. So we can say, therefore, the area of the full parallelogram will be double this.
So it'll be a full area. And I'll put AP for the full area of that parallelogram is going to be 2 multiplied by 1 half times AD minus BC. And so the twos cancel each other out here. Hip hip hooray. Which leaves us with AD minus BC, which is what we were hoping for. This is the determinant of matrix A. So therefore we have confirmed that the if A is a 2 by 2 matrix, so our final conclusions, if A is a 2 by 2 matrix, then the area of a parallelogram is equal to the absolute value of our determinant of matrix A.